Hey there, Tom Romeo from PCS, showing you how we restore uh, backups to a Fusion managed instance from Blob Storage. Now, um, I was getting an error, uh, access denied error, which was kind of bizarre. And you start Googling it, you find uh, there are lots of explanations for these types of errors, but it wasn't the error that I was receiving. So I want to demonstrate that for you. So right now, I'm going to demonstrate the backup uh, with the error. So right now, I'm searching uh, my blob container. Uh, it's currently October, and I'm going to pull a backup from June. Now, I'll also mention that, you know, SQL Managed Instance, of course, backs up your databases on a regular basis. But what we do is something extra. See, there's the error, right? And it is an access denied error, an OS access denied error. We're going to get into that in a minute. Uh, so now I'm actually going to pull the URL from the blob storage, and I'm going to execute the command on my SQL managed instance uh, in SQL Management Studio manually to demonstrate the error again. So as I was saying, you know, managed instance does backups for you on a regular basis. We take it a step further and m perform nightly full backups of all the databases out to Blob. And the advantage of this is if you delete the database for wh whatever reason, and then for some reason you need it back, well, it's gone. But if you've got these backups, you can restore it. Now, I'm obscuring certain names because I'm just trying to be conscious of customer information. Um, but none of this is critical because um, you really can't get to these URLs anyhow. But I'm just blocking it just because. So um, these backups are out in Blob. And you see how I got that error, operating system error denied. Now, if you Google that, what you're going to find is two answers. You're going to find them saying that your SQL Management Studio uh, ID that you're using doesn't have permission, which is perhaps correct for other situations, but not this situation. And the other error you're going to, um, message you're going to receive is um, SQL Server is not running under a, an account that has permission to get that that um, file. And in both cases, since this is SQL managed instance, both of those answers are incorrect. The correct answer is every time we do backups to a blob container, we have to generate which is called a SAS key. Okay. Now that SAS key for June is it already expired. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the June container OK, see, I'm in the June container and I'm going to give permissions for a day and generate a SAS key. And then I'm going to use that SAS key in my local database. So now I've already got a SAS key script for this database. What I'm going to do is drop the key and then generate a new key. And this key is only good for the day that I did the demo, which means it's already expired. Now, I tried to perform the restore. But the SAS key didn't take effect yet. So I'm going to show you again what that uh, script to generate the SAS key looks like. But I'm going to flip back and I'm going to perform the restore and you see it's going to execute correctly. All right. And I am hiding this data. If you want to contact me, I'm happy to show you how to do this. All right. So now you see the restore is actually taking place. Cool. So now, after this restore takes place, I'm going to take it a step further, and I'm going to go to SQL Management Studio, um, not using TSQL like I did here, but I'm going to go to the Object Explorer and right-click and say, Restore a Database. So here we go. Restore. And I'm just hiding those names. It's really not that important because none of this data is usable by anybody anyhow. I'm just trying to be nice. OK, and I'm going to add my URL and I'm going to go back to the June container. And now from within that June container, I'm going to pick a random database to restore. Uh, and of course, this failed earlier, but it will succeed on this go around. And then at the end of this video, I'm here to promote, of course, our product, which is DB Health Assist. DB Health Assist was really designed for people who use SQL Management Studio, who use uh, SQL Express, 
And with SQL Express, you don't have um, automated backups. So um, PCS uh, DB Health Assist was really designed for SQL Express. But I'm going to demonstrate that all of these backups you see here are for SQL Managed Instance going out to Blob. And we used uh, PCS DB Health Assist specifically to create those backups. Now I'm going to delete the two restored databases um, that we just restored because I don't need them. And then I'm going to show you what's, what PCS uh, DB Health Assist looks like and um, show you how easy it is to configure it and all the wonderful things it does. Because besides performing backups, it also performs re-indexing. It also performs a, um, a DBCC check DB. Um, it'll manage your transaction log size. It's got an option for when you add new databases to automatically add them to the backup. You see that's checked off. Auto add new databases, auto remove deleted databases. It sends an email and I have it set here to send an email regardless of whether there are errors just to give me a positive confirmation. There are purge jobs you can set up, and these this is where we have the Azure copy destination stuff set up. So it's going to go to the October folder. And that is it. I mean, it is a very cool product. Everybody should be using it, and um, uh, we're using it here at Crestron, and uh, it works fantastic. Over and out. Thanks for watching, and remember, you can download all of our software from our website. Thank you.